My point is this. Yeah, 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 yeah right, 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 shit. Let's say she was here in the middle. And then people were here watching her, stuff like that. Well, it, it would be hard to see really how it penetrates her uh, thing, you know, her her holes. But if if she has a camera, look, look how close up. Look how close up. These are the future mothers of the caucus race. You got a bunch of dumb Negroes up in the, in the midst of them too, trying to sell their bodies. <laughs> you know, uh, all, all that there. But hey, but th these are the future mothers of the caucus race. That's basically the point of, all, of this uh, example. So, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. And thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the So I don't have to read that. Uh, and, the, and the land shall the, be divided by line. Uh, uh, America is more divided now than ever before. And when they say this, polarization, the country is more politically divided now than it has been in the past 20 years, actually more than that, because of the Democrats and Republicans. Also because of the the, the, the ABC people, the, 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 the rainbow people, and they're politically divided because, you know, they started, because the Lord said, I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians. They're fighting against each other, which is beautiful, which is one of the curses that will come upon these Edomites. Just like how we have the so-called black on black crime and stuff like that. They are killing each other too. Yeah, that's the fun part. Because the Lord is cursing them now, you know. All these curses shall come upon the, uh, on the, the shall, shall shall come upon their enemies, on the people that hate thee, and these people are being they're fighting against each other right now. I'll put this link in the description box, so you can check it out for yourself. So, so the point of me bringing this up is that this is what they're doing now. They're they are, so when you read this scripture, uh, prostitute not thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Is the other one actually sorry. It's in Leviticus 19. Uh, do not cause thy daughter. To, oh, sorry. Uh, do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. What is another way other than selling her to the highest bidder? What is another way to cause your daughter to be a whore? By setting up OnlyFans, OnlyFan pages. Because who set up this page? It was a cave monkey. Why? Because he makes. Wait, let me let me try to find that. It was a cave monkey. It was a it was an Edomite male, <clears throat> right? Uh, it was an Edomite male. This guy, and I think he's Amalek. Amalek, uh, by the way. But check check this out. This is what he did. This is actually wild. It has just been revealed that the owner of OnlyFans paid himself a staggering $1.3 million per day in 2022. And because he is still the sole shareholder of the entire company, over the last three years, he has paid himself close to a billion dollars. Only because he takes a percentage of the money that these, these prostitutes are working for. So basically, he's pimping you, making money off of you for allowing you to use his platform because before it's actually even safer for these whores now because back in the days they would have to get a pimp to help them and the pimp would take money for the for his for their protection and stuff like that but now they're being pimped legally legally fans itself which has just 53 employees made a whopping 1.1 billion in revenue which hypothetically if equally split works out at more than 20 million dollars per employee the amount of money people spent on only fans in 2022 was you ready for this 5.6 billion dollars because creators get to keep 80 percent of money spent by subscribers that means only fans creators as a whole got paid 4.4 billion dollars in a year alone <laughs> That's that's money. That's the money that they uh, cost uh, their their pimp to have. <laughs> so the future mothers of the caucus race are what? Say it along with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read it here. Ah, Amos chapter seven verse seventeen. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. Now this happened to us. Okay, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. That happened to us. And thy land shall be divided by line. It happened to us. That's why we fight each other. All oh, these niggers can't get along. Oh, they all so kill each other. 
and thou shalt die in a polluted land. In America, that land is polluted. And in, other, uh, and in all the other lands where we have been sold into slavery. And Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. We got kicked out of the land and we went forth into, into slavery into all the other heathen nations upon the planet earth. All the four corners of the earth have enslaved us. So, oh, I'm not going to pay. But the Lord said, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7, And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So who's the whore now? Huh? Because I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. Back in the days, if these little old white girls did that shit, man, they would be, you know what I'm saying? They would be in trouble. They would be in trouble if they did this shit, man. I'm going to show you what type of trouble they would be in. Check this out. Um, this. Uh, two women were arrested in 1852. <clears throat> and you had another one. Who were actually arrested for wearing pants. Four times females in uh, the U.S. were actually arrested wearing pants. Uh, ridiculous history. It's not ridiculous, bro. Yeah, this one I'm looking for. She was arrested for wearing pants, and then later on she wear the she wear she wear the clothing. Look at her. <laughs> she had to. <laughs> she had to. She had to. She was forced. She had to. You know what I'm saying? So hey. Then she came back with this, and then she has to swear. <laughs> she's looking, she's looking at her with contempt, like you bitch, you fucking doing. Anyway, it says here, Helen gets pictured in demon dress. The judge forced her to wear for the duration of her prison sentence. You, you whore! You, you can't because who has the pants on uh, on in the house? Who has the pants on in the house? Uh, where does it? What does it mean? <clears throat> Exercise controlling authority in a household. In a grandma, as in the, and as in grandma wears the pants at our house. That means that she is the one that is in authority. Well, this is actually bullshit, because it's the man. It is I, I do mean, generally applied to women and dating to the, 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 the time when they were only skirts, equated pants with a tor with an authoritative. And properly masculine role. That's it. So, if you say like, "Hey, who wears the pants on in this relationship?" Then you're already questioning his man masculine, because <laughs> it's it's supposed to be a a given that he wears the pants, which is a representative of control authority, authority. But when a, when a female has the pants on in the house, nobody says anything. But when a man has the pants on in the house, all of a sudden it's toxic masculinity. But when you do it, it's, I'm just uh, being, you know, in control of my life. But that's good. Let them fight each other. I have no problem with that. Let their m m females fight their men. I hate you because you're white. You're an oppressor. Yes, yes, hate them. <laughs> Why? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse <clears throat> 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot on the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son. You look like your father, nigga, I hate you. And toward her daughter, you too pretty, you pulling up all these guys, I fucking hate you, I'm jealous of you. This is the curses that came upon our people. Nowadays it's upon them. Beautiful. So, the, the our, 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 our women, they hate the men, they hate their son, and they hate their daughters, right? What's happening now with the with the caucus females, the Edomite females? They do the same. They do the same. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Um, a child recently was left suicidal due to children teasing him. Why? Why? Uh, here, now that I've, I've been depressed and suicidal because my mom's where, where? <laughs> Only fans, <laughs> Only fans stars left suicidal after classmate taunt him. Is this your mama? Is this your mama? 
Woo! You know how kids are, man. Kids are going to kill, make you kill yourself, man. That's what kids are going to make you do. Only fan star son left. Suicidal! <laughs> After what? After a classmate taunt him with naked pics of his mommy. <laughs> you couldn't do this ever in the history of history itself. People had, they couldn't do this. You know, let's say your mama was a whore when she was 16. Most, most of the time you wouldn't find out unless you're close to somebody that used to plow her. And then he tells you. You know, and then you, you know, you could say, hey, your mama used to be a hoe, you know what I'm saying? Just so you can get away with that. You know, you're going to get up in a fight, but <laughs> you can still mock him, <laughs> right? But nowadays, they got the proof. It's like they're there. Yo, a lot of children be offing themselves, you know what I'm saying? They're turning into officers. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh man, they're dying. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh shit! Wait, wait. Um. You think I'm evil for laughing? The Book of Sirach, the Sirach, twenty-five, verse seven. It's ecclesiastic as in the Apocrypha. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A band that had joy of his children. Nowadays, you can't have joy of your children because they're turning them into some purple loving day, uh, purple day loving children on school, uh, whatever a school day and stuff like that. And and there's more things that they do with the children in school. You know, they teach them instead of you teach them. Anyway, going on. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, it shows you that we are powerless to take our children back. You know, they shall. Uh, uh, oh wait, wait. Uh, now I have no power. Oh yeah, long, long. Yeah, verse 32, Deuteronomy 28, 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. That happened in slavery. But nowadays, the modern day slavery, uh, the mental, is still there. Because you have only access to your children. Yeah, sure. I clock a lot. <clears throat> I really mistyped it there. <clears throat> you have only access to your children from, let's say, 8 o'clock. No, 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 sorry. I mean, <clears throat> 6, 6 o'clock you wake up, and then 8 o'clock they have to be in school. And then from 8 o'clock, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, some of them work, uh, sorry, are not work. Well, well, it is a job. Some of them work in school until uh, uh, 4 o'clock or until 3. So, or seven seven hours or eight hours, but and again, anyway, let's keep it on eight for now, for example's sake. So from eight to four, that's a whole fucking full day of work. Anyway, and then they do that Monday until Friday, and then you bring them home, and then you're home about five o'clock. Okay, then you 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 eat, you know, around these times. It depends on how you. Uh, we we don't eat at six o'clock. We don't do that shit. We we just eat because the food is already there. But anyway, I'm just giving you an example. Then uh, around this time here, uh, you, you, you go cooking and stuff like that, and then you eat, and then 8 o'clock, they got to go back to sleep again. So how many hours do you really literally see your children, basically? You see them from 4 when you pick them up until 8 when they go to sleep. So you see them 1, 2, 3, 4 hours a day from Monday to Friday, 4 hours a day you see them. Oh, yeah, if you count the morning, when you need to wake up, maybe you wake up 7 o'clock, maybe you wake up 6 because you got to work, then you wake your kids up 7 Get them ready, shower, eat, da, 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 and then they bring them to school here. And then you don't see them for the whole day. They got them. They raise your children. They teach them things. Not just not just uh, school things, but also mentality and who is in authority. Uh, the cave monkey that's in the front of the class is the authority. And, and you need to listen to him when he tells you that he gets to punish your children. He gets to discipline you. He gets to do stuff to your kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And you can't stop it. Right, so, yeah, and then Saturdays and Sundays, so Saturday most likely you're tired, so you want to sleep out, and then your children is being raised by who? Again, the the Edomites, why? The television, the television is raising them, because they're up early, they're, they're up early 6 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, when are you going to be in front of the TV, doing what? Learning their bullshit, their cartoons with, uh, um... Wait, let me 
to you. Yeah, stuff like this. <laughs> stuff like this. You know, you got shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Shit like this. You got you got you got SpongeBob dressed in a in a girl in a girl costume. And and if you didn't know it, what what does a French costume and uh, represent? <clears throat> What does it represent? Doesn't it represent sex? Everybody knows the French costume is associated with a female that comes to serve you, but then in a sexy way. So what the fuck are they, what the hell are they are they doing this here? They do they, they know what the fuck they're doing. This look like a penis in the underwear around his face. This some sodomy shit. You know you have. Uh, I just oh yeah here yeah you got the uh, condoms being blown. Ten, top ten jokes only adults will get. What the f what? What? Why is this here? You know, they, 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 they got a lot of filthy stuff and stuff like that, man. They got a lot of filthy stuff. Look 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 at this shit here. Giving head, inappropriate things. You know, inappropriate uh, cartoons. Inappropriate. What? Piet inappropriate. Piet uh, Disney. There's so many. There's so many. You know. Look. Look at this shit. Another. Another giving. Giving head. Uh, you know. And another one here. <laughs> another one here. You know what I'm saying? What is this? I don't know what it is. Hidden sexual. Probably something hidden. I don't even know. Yeah, you have a lot of things like this, you know. There's, 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 there's so many things, man. There's so many things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this one over here, too. The Lion King cover. It was actually a female in a bikini. I remember this cartoon. It was a naked female over there. You can look it up for yourself if you want to. You know. Yeah, here, here. She's being a sex slave. She has to feed him. Just like I just showed you. Of the, the, what's it again? <sighs> the female servant thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing. This is the same thing. I serve you because that is arousing. You know, when a when a, when a woman actually feeds a man, that's a, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? You want to have sex right then and there. You know what I'm saying? If she comes with a meal, you put the meal on the side and you you feast on her. And then you eat. Because after the after the badonka donk, you're gonna want to have some food in your stomach, because your nutrients is emptied out and filled her belly, make that belly go swelly from your jelly. So, and then your you know it's nutrients. Uh, that's why you that's why you always want to eat after you you know you done her on no, a <laughs> physical harm. <laughs> You got her crawling against the walls trying to get away from you. Yeah! Right. Yeah, gripping at the wall. But anyway, so yeah. We're longing all the day long for our children back in slavery. But nowadays they have a more fancier way to do it. Which is teaching your children these, these fucked up things. In their cartoons and stuff like that. And you wonder why your children are so sexualized when they grow up. Because they're being bombarded with a lot of crazy filthy stuff. <laughs> And that's what's happening to him. <laughs> no, this is this is fake. That was not in the cartoon. I saw that cartoon. It was not in there. But yeah, these are the, this was in the cartoon. You know what I'm saying? Trying to grind upon his nuts. But this is a children thing, right? Anyway, so they are teaching our children, man. They are uh, raising them. That's why when your children grow older, they rebel against you, and they're trying to make you think that that is normal. But when you go to but when you go to the, the countries where the children don't. Uh, have tele access to television like that they're very submissive which is how you're supposed to be toward your parents you don't call out your parents and book you mom i hate you <laughs> slam the door and stuff like that you know what i'm saying you don't do things like that in certain countries you know you get your ass whooped by the neighbor you know right so they're teaching your children yeah and that's not how it's supposed to be we're supposed to have access to our children 24 7 not some other race. Let that sink in. 
So Deuteronomy 30, 28, 32, rest of 32, and there shall be no might in thine hand. We can't, we can't stop them because we are given unto them because of our sins that we committed against the Lord. But the Lord said, his, his tender mercies, his forever mercies is, is along. He, he, he's, coming to, he's coming to save us, man. Isaiah 55. Um, was it 55? Uh, seek ye the 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may yet be found. Ye, call ye upon him while he is near. Because uh, his prophets is coming to tell you. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. He will abundantly pardon. Abundantly means tender to mercies, large quantity, plentiful, abundantly. Is the same thing that is said here in the book of Psalms 106, which is where I put it. I think I clicked it away. Psalms 106, which is um, 50. Forty, forty, four, forty-five. And he remembered for them his covenant, and rem and repented according. How did he? How did he repent? <coughs> according to the multitude of his mercies. So that's what he has. Multitude is the same thing as abundance. That's what the Lord has. A large number of you know da -da 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 quantities, but yeah, same thing as abundance. Did I click that away too? I think I clicked that away. Yeah, I clicked it away. Uh, abundantly. Do it again. Large quantities. So it's the same thing. <coughs> Only said different. Right. So, yeah. I wanted to go into this too, but I'm already like almost three hours, but yeah. <coughs> So I'll, I'll leave this part out. I'll do another video of this, so I'm going to leave it at that. So, yeah. But the point is that do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore because... Oh, yeah. Let me get that, too. Um, yeah. The first word is a whore? Hmm. Yeah, here. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, had any inheritance in the kingdom of Yahweh Shai and of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So a whoremonger is not going to be... Uh, let me see. I got another one, actually. Wait, what the... But the whoremonger and the adulterer is the most high shall will judge. Who's a, what's a whoremonger? Well, if you check out the definition of theirs, they're going to lie to you what a whoremonger is. Check this out. Whoremonger, right? A man, look, look at the li lies, lies again. This is it. Pimping. But according to these liars, because they change... That's why I say they have a snake tongue. Sometimes they speak the truth, sometimes they lie. <clears throat> a man who habitually concerts with or pays for services of prostitute. No, 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 that's not the truth. No, no, because if you, if you, a person, no, 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 here, here, for example, a prostitute's customer is a whoremonger. No, no, it's not. You're lying. You're being a devil. You're being a devil. He thinketh to change times and laws and things and sayings and meanings of things, of words. Whore, a prostitute. Okay, cool. Okay. Munger. 
a dealer in a specific commodity, a seller. He's an iron monger, he's a scandal monger, he sells scandals like tabloids, for example. A whoremonger, <coughs> a whoremonger, <coughs> a warmonger, sorry. He sells weapons of war, you know, right. Uh, iron monger, warmonger, war, right. So a monger is a dealer, a seller. So what is a whore sell, a whoremonger? You, you sell women. That's what you do. You're a whoremonger. So don't let these devils fool you with their new speech because they're lying to you often. You know, you need to really get, that's why we pray for the eye self, to see the lies of this devil. If you type in dowry, he will change it up for you. He will twist it around. Meanwhile, the scripture says, no, 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 no. That's, that's not what a diary means. A diary means that you pay the father the dowry, the payment of dowry for his virgin daughter. You pay him because you took his daughter. You pay for that. So you need to have money when you're trying to get a girl. <laughs> but then again, you know, uh, oh yeah, I was, I did say that I was actually going to read that. So I'm going to read that anyway. So this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 13. If a man take a wife and go in unto her and hate her, and give occasion of speech against her, and bring up an evil name upon her, and say, I took this woman, and when I came to her, I found her not a maid, she was not a virgin. Then the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity. What is the token of the damsel's virginity? Back in the days when you had sex, because sex means to cut in section. As it is written here, sex. Oh, uh, sex. Uh, let me see. Here, to divide or cut. Secare, secare. To cut. And what do you cut? You cut her vagina. And then she bleeds. So you can only have sex one time in your life as a woman. And after that, you have intercourse. So it's a different thing between sex and intercourse. Right, intercourse is just plowing, dun 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 dun. But sex is like, ooh, hey, wait a minute, no, 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 no. stop, 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 dun dun dun. That's sex, because it cuts, it hurts in the beginning. <clears throat> then she starts enjoying it, which is the intercourse. She could enjoy sex too if you're not too rough with her. You know, so yeah. Or you know, if it doesn't hurt, you know, if it's not that broad, <laughs> hitting them sugar walls. Right, it might then uh, make her feel uncomfortable, and she might not like it. And then it, later on, she start to get addicted to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's about that. Uh, not now, she turned into a, a crack fiend. I gotta have it, man. Oh man, <laughs> I was slapping my my wrist because that not my wrist. I mean, um, heroin, heroin uh, users, heroin users when they uh, they elbow, uh, not the elbow, arm here. I was slapping my arm, actually, this one. <laughs> then they tap on their arm like, I need it, man, please. Please, just give me it, man. Please. <laughs> then she turned into a junkie. That's where you get these females from. <laughs> where is it again? I get to laughing again. Why? My enemies is falling. <laughs> That's where you get these females, man. They turn into a fucking heroin addicts. <laughs> <laughs> they turned into some. She went from volleyball to OnlyFans, bro. Probably got that more money. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> she went from volleyball to her OnlyFans because she'd be like, fuck volleyball, man. Ain't making me no money. <clears throat> I want to get them thousands and thousands and thousands of thousands of th hundreds of thousands of a month. And she's already famous. So she going to easily make like a hundred thousand something. I mean, uh, he made a million. She made a million in one day. I made a million. No, no, not you, not you. That 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 actress, actual. No, 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 not this one. She's also famous already. She's a YouTuber. YouTuber Kareem Kof. Yeah, I clicked on it because I made a video showing uh her thing. So I put this link in the description box. But I was actually looking for this one, um, actress. This one with the yellow or a bit Bella Thorne. I always forget her name. She broke record. She was the only one. She's the first one, the actor, whatever, 
and influencer officially earned over 1 million through the revenue of the platform in the first over 1 million shit i didn't even read that i thought it was just one of course it's not exactly 1 million i should have thought about that anyway first in in the first 24 hours after debut debuting her account according to the company 1 million in a day come on man come on man bella thorne makes 1 million a day what the celebrities who turn to only fans to earn millions you know what I'm saying? That's what they do. And you had, let me see, um, Sammy. You had these celebrities because I just, uh, let me see, Sammy. No, I'm not, Denise, Denise, yeah, Denise, Den and Denise. And Denise. Denise Richard. Let me see, wait, let me. Right. I thought I was going to see some crazy, but yeah. <laughs> So Denise Richard and her daughter. It, 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 do you know who Denise Richard is? Did you know I didn't know her name? I saw it, and I was like, "Wait a minute! Isn't that that actress, man?" <laughs> She's already a billionaire, and so is her daughter, and they are the the child of these two freaks. And this is doofus over here, and his doofus ass daughter, wife. I mean, and this is her, their doofus ass daughter. But these two females are on OnlyFans. Crazy. I'm like, yo, the most high. Amos 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. Hosea 4 and 14. I will not punish your daughters when they commit their whoredom. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is beautiful to see your enemies just fall. Mm. <clears throat> and these are not the enemies of my own nation. Because if it was the enemies of my own nation, the Lord said, don't fall, don't laugh when your enemy fall. That's talking about the Israelites, so I'm not doing that. I'm talking about my actual enemies of another race. I can laugh, I can laugh at you all I want, bro. Nothing's going to happen to me. The Lord is not going to take away the punishment thereof. You know what I'm saying? But among my own people, I would giggle and then not laugh. But I'm angry as shit. That's why I cuss you out when I see this. Uh, where is it? Here. That's why I cuss you out when I see a Jake female. I'm mm, goddamn fucking hope. What are you doing here? I typed in OnlyFans. You shouldn't be popping up. You shouldn't be popping up. That's why I cuss your ass out. Here, here, here you go. Homeless to millionaire thanks to OnlyFans. Yeah, that's what's up. You turn into a hoe. You will get yours though. Because you are not allowed to be a whore being the daughter of Israel. You have the holy nation. And you're not allowed to be a sodomite when you are of the sons of Israel. Okay, of the nation of Israel. You, you Jake men, you, you're going to get, you, you, you're going to get exterminated, man. Well, not exterminated. You're going to get, you're going to get, you're going to, you going to, you know what? The Most High got something for you. Let me say that. You're going to be wiped out. You know what I'm saying? Not exterminated. You're going to be wiped out. Yeah. You know, so. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I also wanted to show this. Now, it says here, ratio of uh, female performers. A study done of 10,000 porn stars in their career. So, it says here, this is only 10,000 and this is only America. So, a breakdown of uh, female porn stars races featuring the headshots of 5,000 performers. So, it's not the 10,000 performers. It's the 5,000 performers, right? So, it shows you here. 70% of the 5,000 performers, these videos that you see, these pictures that you see here, I wouldn't know if it's, if it's actually 5,000, I didn't count, but it's it's 5,000 performers, headshots and stuff like that, right? Of the 5,000 performers here, show it on here, 70% of these are 75, but, .5, but I'll just keep it, I'll just keep it, you can read it for yourself, 70.5% of them are Edomite females. 14% are Israelites. They all need to be put to death and they will. Here, I'm laughing. I'm looking at you. Shit, I even click on your naked pics. Woo! <laughs> laughing. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not my daughter. Shit. I don't care about you. Uh, it's not It's not a problem for me. I'm like, yo, that's, that's not my... That's not my baby. You know, when you see... A lot of people, when they see... A lot of people are clowns nowadays, by the way. But a clown has red cheeks and pale skin. So, yeah, I'm talking about you. Minus the... You, you can put the Afro wig on if you want to, but you know what I mean? But a lot of people are clowns nowadays because 
uh, they, they, everything that they see they film you know but let's say it's your child uh, grabbing feces from a dog in a park you gonna run you gonna man you ain't gonna film you gonna run toward that child smack the feces out the child's hand child's gonna cry and uh, you gonna wash the child's hand wash him with soap and all that, that type of crazy stuff you know what I'm saying <laughs> why because you're offended it's your child you know it hurts uh, it, you feel a certain way you know what I'm saying Right, but if it's somebody else's child, and especially the clown mentality that these people have nowadays, they will whip out their phone and film the child and be like, look at what these neighbors of mine are letting their child do. This is bad parenting. Hashtag bad parenting. Duh, 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 duh. They would film it and put it online. That's how I feel when I see, <laughs> when I see, when I see you, when I see this. I, I'm not offended. This is offensive. This is offensive, you hoes. Now this, I don't give a fuck. Uh, this, uh, well, so these are so mixed up. But some of them actually might be Israelites because their father might be a Jake uh, from the Afro or the, the Latinos. If your father is one of these and, and your mother is whatever else, maybe Asian, maybe Caucasian, but, but, but you fall under the 1%, screw you too, man. You know? You, you're going to be dealt with once that time comes. You know, you, you offensive. You offended me. Our people are not supposed to be doing garbage like that. But anyway, <clears throat> enough of that. The point is that they are the biggest majority of porn people, you know. And that was only a study of 10,000 people. And and by the way, that was only done a study of uh, in America. It wasn't worldwide. You see these people in their countries, they have their own things over there going on over there. You know, because uh, it's, it's like, I don't even want to type in Asia thing, so I, I'm not even going to do that. I wanted to, but I'm thinking like, nah, 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 don't matter. You know, you can look it up for yourself if you have the time about there. So, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this is somebody's daughter, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah, this is funny as shit, man. But, hey, all these curses shall come upon the... Uh, on the people that hate thee and uh, no, yeah, and per persecuted thee, so they're getting now what they uh, <laughs> have been doing to us, uh, what 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 happened to us, and the, and the point is that a whoremonger put her there. He gave her the opportunity to ha to be on those type of platforms, which is only fans. And who did that? Their own men, the men of their own nation. So it says here, cost not that. Hmm. Leviticus 19 29 do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore so minus this one right to cause her to be a whore if you give her the up if you put a platform to where females can actually do these things then you're the reason why she is a prostitute that's your fault because if you didn't create that platform for them because before the OnlyFans, this, these type of platforms weren't really there on a large scale. They was there, they was there. But on a large scale, you had to... Uh, let me get the fuck out of here. Uh, you, had to, you had to donate uh, individually. Or she literally had to go on the street and sell herself individually to uh, people. And that's why I gave the example of the... Here, where is it again? Stadium thing. That's why I gave the example of this. If she was a, a, a individual hoe uh, it, it, to, to sleep around with 300, what was it again? Three, uh, no, 132,000 people, eh, it's not really going to happen. It's not really going to happen. Eh, it's too much. It's too much. She's going to or die or she's going to, yeah, she, she's going to quit. She's going to quit or die. One of those two. Yeah, yeah. You can die, you, you can die from uh, being a... Uh, it does say violated by hundreds of people. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. There's there's many instances where women have been basically raped to death. You know, so that's that's not that's not uh, 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 plausible. That's not gonna happen. But nowadays, you have millions of people that can see your your daughter naked. It's not necessarily having sex with her, but the point is that back in the days, it was Im almost impossible. It's possible, but it was more likely not going to happen that 132,000 people have seen one woman naked. It, it didn't go like that back in the days. 
But nowadays, the whole world, millions of people can see your wife getting plowed like uh, <clears throat> this guy's wife. You know, everybody see. I, I didn't see it. I didn't click on that shit. This guy's wife, Lena the Plug. Millions of people have seen her uh, get down with this this brother guy. With this guy, millions of people have seen it. Literally, million, millions of people, millions of people have seen it, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is the token of her virginity. The token of her virginity is, uh, let me see, the token of her virginity. A physical, no, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, the, hym the hymen thing, to see if it, if it bleeds. This is how you have sex, you cut this, hymen. Token of her damsel's virginity. <clears throat> Let me see the token of her virginity. Token of virginity here. This one. Um, what? Basically, the Arabs do it until this day. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> okay, the Arabs do it until this day. So what do they do is they put a token on the bed. On the bed, they put a token like this. And then it's white, a white sheet. And then they would consummate, consummate the marriage by the man having sex with the female here. And then the blood would show upon the token here. And then it uh, would be... <coughs> It would be solidified if I'm using the word. I don't even know if I use the word right. It would be a hundred percent that she was a virgin because she bled. She bled. You know, she bled. Right. The token of her virginity. Yeah, the Arabs do it until this day. By the way, this is what they do. Yeah, but our people used to have a, a little blanket, you know, on the on the on, under the bed or, or on the bed here. And then you know that would be the token of her virginity to prove that she was not a uh, she was not a whore she was a virgin when you met her. So Deuteronomy chapter <coughs> twenty two verse fifteen. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the token of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate, and the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I gave my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hated her, and lo. He had given occasion of speech against her, saying, I found not this daughter a, a maid, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. And they shall spread the cloth, which I just showed you, before the elders of the city. And the elders of their city shall take that man and chastise him, they're going to whip his ass. And they shall immerse him, they're going to force him, in an, they're going to find him, force him, find force, force, find him. He gonna pay a ticket. He gonna pay a, a fine. Him in a hundred shekels of silver, and th b because he lied, and then give unto the damsel of the father, <coughs> and give them unto the damsel of the, what? Sorry, and give them unto the father of the damsel. Because why? Why would he had to pay a hundred shekels after his ass whooping? Because he had brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Israel. And she shall be his wife, and he may not put her away all his days. But if the thing be true, and the virgin of token, the token of virginity, the tokens of virginity be not found for the damsel, then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of the father's house, and the men of the city shall stone her with stones as she die, because she had wrought folly in Israel. To play the whore in our father's house because she was living with her father. And then married off and then come to find out that while living with her father she already had sex. You about to die that day. She died that day. So shalt thou put away evil. No, So shalt thou put evil away from among you. So there's another one here. Verse 28. Deuteronomy 22 and 28. So it says, If a man find a damsel that is a, that is a virgin... Who is not betrothed, not engaged to someone else, already promised to another man, and lay hold on her <coughs> and lie with her, and they be found. Then the man that lay with her 
shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver. And she shall be his wife. Why? Because he had humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. So what does it teach you? <laughs> that if you lie on a virgin of Israel, you pay a hundred shekels of silver. But if you rape one, <laughs> you pay fifty. <laughs> it's safer to rape than to lie. But they, I'm just with that. I'm just joking and kidding. Them. But it's actually written here. It says, if she is a virgin, and you do force her, and if you might, you might be like, no, he just lay with her, and you know, let me no. If you go to the other translations, Deuteronomy 28, 22 and 28, it says, if a man if, if a man happens to meet a virgin who is not pledged to be married, which is engaged and betrothed, and rapes her, and they be discovered. See? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, intercourse. No, no, no. It's not intercourse, bro. It's, it's uh, <coughs> seize. Seize her. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Pardon. So it, it goes into rape. He yeah, rapes her. Rapes her. Yeah, it's not it's not in the course, bro. Forces her to have sex with him. Yeah, that's it. Um The word rape actually means to seize. Against her will. Against the person's will. So when you are The definition of seized, to take hold suddenly and forcibly, and forceful. Yeah, so <laughs> you take forcible possession of. <laughs> so yeah, she is seized because you force yourself upon her. Anyway, so yeah, right there you have it. I did, I did read it eventually. Anyway, so yeah, it don't matter. Uh, yeah, so, <coughs> so, yeah, um, what was I saying again? Yeah, yeah, so you're not supposed to lie upon the daughter of Israel, uh, to call, to, to make her seem as if she's some kind of hoe. Nowadays, everybody's lying, so, yeah. And like I said, I'm not advising you to go um, do this to a woman, <coughs> or to do this to a woman, because you're being stupid. The same way. I don't have to advise you because you're not going to do it anyway because you you scared you scared a little hoe. Why? Because you know it's going to be consequences. So don't be like, hey, that's in the scriptures and you taught me that. I didn't teach you nothing. I read it for you. What happened back in the days and how we used to do things. <coughs> because with the same thought, with that, keep that same energy as they love to say, right? Keep that same energy talking about, yeah, it's in the scriptures and he taught me. So it's not my fault. It's his fault. What? Okay, I'm going to teach you this too. Leviticus chapter 21 first. Sorry. Exodus chapter 21 first. Let me see. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. What was it again? What was it again? I think it was 20. Hey. Um, no, it was Leviticus 20. And 13. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah. It, 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 if, if you want to follow this one, and you said, I, I told you, you can just rape a daughter or something like that. Okay. Why don't you follow this one too then? Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lied with mankind, as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon us. And we read it again. <laughs> if a man also lied with mankind, as he lied with a woman. Hey, that's, that's hey, wait, that looked like sodomy to me. Yep, it is. Both of them, the receiver and the, the giver, both of them, okay? The one that lies like the woman and the one that uh, does the, the, you know, it does, does him in, both of them have committed an abomination. What, what should we do with them? Should we marry them in, in, in the so-called court of Esau's law? No. They shall surely be put to death. Have I murdered the person? No. It says their blood shall be upon them. It's their fault. If you if you if they be put to death. So are you gonna do this? <clears throat> are you gonna say that I'm 
that I provoked you to do this? No. Same thing then here. I didn't tell you to do this. I read it for you. So it's a difference. <laughs> what I do teach you is uh, that it that it, these are the, these are the laws that happened there back then. But the Lord said, uh, even through 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 Paul. Sorry. <coughs> um, sorry. Uh, what's it again? It says here, First Corinthians chapter six, verse twelve. Mm, chapter ten, verse twenty-three. First Corinthians ten twenty-three. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. Yeah. All the lawful things are lawful to do. Yes. Expedient of an action, convenient or and practical to all through possible improper or immoral means of attaining an end. Mm, especially one that is convenient but possibly improper da, 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 da. expedient putting in order so basically it's not actually good to be doing well this would mean then good but, but put in order but, but the point is that all things are lawful to, for me but not all things are expedient all things are lawful for me but not all things edify right so it's not always uh, edifying to do things that are lawful to the Heavenly Father. He, for example, stoning a woman to death because she committed adultery. You, you shouldn't, it's lawful, but you shouldn't do it. You know why? Because the Lord said, when He came, He said, <clears throat> like I said, I would advise you to smack the shit out of her, you know? Uh, even that, you know, you should be careful with it. You know? <laughs> but still, let, 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 let me say, no, no, not advise you. I would condone it. You know, I'd be like, so what did she do? <laughs> I see you guys back to oh, you bitch. Oh. You be looking at me then. What did she do? I wonder what she did to make him that angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What she did was she was sucking off that guy over there and then came and started to start making out with him. What? Yo, let me have it. Let me hear it too. <laughs> so, uh, I see, see? But I'm just kidding, but yeah. And, but I'm, I'm being dead serious too. John chapter 8 verse, verse 4. They, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now, Mo, and now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned to death. But what sayest thou? This they say tempting him that they might have to accuse him. <clears throat> but Jehovah shall stoop down and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he hurt him not. He's, he's ignoring him. It's funny. When you read about the Lord sometimes, you just you just chuckle, you just laugh. You bet. Well, it's just kind of funny what he just did right there. It's kind of funny what he just did right there. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto him, said unto them, He that is without sin among you, <laughs> let, let him cast... Let him first cast a stone at her. So be the first. Just go ahead, do it. Let, let me see if you if you that righteous. Are you righteous? Hit her. And again, he stooped down and rolled on the ground. <laughs> he was just fiddling. He was just fiddling. Um, but anyway, and they which heard it were convicted by their own conscience. They was like, shit. I committed adultery a few days ago, man. I, <laughs> I just didn't got caught. <laughs> <laughs> or they might have done it a few years ago or whatever man or like hey shit I committed murder and nobody saw me God damn let me get out of here man cause if they find out I'm gonna die too then if I do that then I need to be judged for my sins too right <clears throat> went out one by one beginning at the eldest they're the oldest fools because they're the ones like man I live longer than everybody here I did more sins then all these people, well, it could be, but, you know, sometimes when you're young, they commit a lot of sins more than older people. But anyway, they were the first one to leave, even unto the last. And Yahushua was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Yahushua had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where, where are those thine accusers? <laughs> where are they at? Had no man condemned thee? <clears throat> She said, no man, my, oh Lord, Lord, no man, Lord, no man, Lord. She said, no man, Lord. And Yahweh said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no 
more. Don't do it again. That's it. So he did tell her, like, don't do it again. Don't do it again. You got the mercy this time, but don't do it again. So that shows you that you, you can't just you can't just do it. You might be forgiven one time. <laughs> Hell, you might even be I, I wouldn't test that one. I wouldn't test the second uh, time. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord. <clears throat> so, yeah, don't tempt him. Yeah, so that's it. So, and, uh, like I said, I would not advise for you killing her. That's not, not, you shouldn't do that, man. You shouldn't do that. Smacking her in the heat of the moment. Well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to turn the other cheek. Like, I didn't see that. Hey, what happened over there? Uh, he hit me. I didn't see nothing. You was right there. You need to come to the cops with me. I plead that. I don't speak English. Hey, I don't know, man. I, don't, I speak a different language, bro. <clears throat> so, uh, can't help you. Well, they got, they got, a, they got an interpreter, and then I make sign language like I'm a gangbanger, but <laughs> I'm, I'm mute. I can't talk. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell this kind of hurting me. Not hurting, but uh, it's kind of being irritating. So I'm gonna stop the video. Stop talking too much, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, let me see. Uh, with that, let me see if I need. So yeah, certain things you do and certain things you don't do. Putting her to death because she so-called cheated on you, uh, she committed adultery on you. It's not, it's not a wise thing. But uh, smacking her, well. Eh. I wouldn't. I, mean, I ain't got a problem with that. She did something horrible, so you need to, you know. But if you don't do that neither, I wouldn't have a problem with that neither. Just, <clears throat> wait. Right, I had to go to the bathroom. Sorry about that. Right. Whew. So now it's, uh, yeah, so you don't do certain things because it's not, it's not, it's not expedient. It's, it doesn't do you good, basically. It might make you feel good, but it doesn't do you good. Because you're going to go to jail. So it doesn't this do you good. And it is lawful to do, but you know, you should have mercy just like how the Lord had mercy upon her. It's very hard because I have seen I have seen men cry, I have seen fucked up things happen into uh, because of relationships and stuff like that. People die. You know, so hey. Uh, whether it be the girl, whether it be the guy that the girl was laying with whether it be the one that the girl was actually with before. You know, because the new boyfriend, he has no right to actually really hate you when you when he stole your girl. And then he, he and then he ends up killing you. So that guy surely should be put to death, but even that, we gonna let the Lord handle that, man. Because there's a scripture that says that and um Thou shalt not rejoice in the death of <clears throat> the one that committed the, uh, the, the death of the murderer. I was looking for it yesterday, but I couldn't find it. But I'm going to try and look for it now. Wait. Right. I actually found it. I was looking for it yesterday. So, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 30. Whoso killeth any person, murder. The murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses, but one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. So you need to have two or three. No, 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 in the, in the, in the mouth of three or four or more. Moreover, ye shall take no satisfaction for the life of the murderer, which is guilty of death. He is guilty of death. But he shall be surely put to death. So, <clears throat> uh, because if you read here that a murderer that murdered a person, you know, when you catch him, he need to be put to death because he's a murderer. There's a difference between killing and murdering. This is murder. Killing is when you kill a murderer. 
there's no blood on your hands. You can read the whole chapter for yourself. You will see what I'm talking about. There's a difference between killing and murdering. You know? But um, when the murder, when you catch the murderer, right? Let's say this is a serial killer, a serial murderer, right? And then you catch him and then you put him to death. You, the scripture says that you shall not have no satisfaction of that. Well, actually, there's, there's something else. But anyway, <coughs> uh, a person that kills a lot of people or just one person. No, no, no. That's a bad example, actually, the, with the serial killer thing. Let me just keep it at this example. A man went into a place and he robbed. He wanted to just rob money, but he ended up killing the victim, murdering the victim, actually. That's not killing, that's murdering. When you catch him, you kill him. That's his just reward. He is guilty of murder. He is guilty and then he should be put to death. But the scripture says you should not have no satisfaction in killing that man. You know, some some people, uh, no, that example what I just give is actually not good. Let me see, let me give another one, but the same one. A man, an Israelite man, went to go rob another Israelite man, right? In a store, for example. I'm talking about the ancient days, for example, right? <clears throat> but but then I add guns. So he went with a gun to go and rob a place. But he ended up killing a person because the person might have fought back or didn't want to give him what he wanted because he was like, no, this is my life savings. I ain't giving you shit. Oh, yeah? Oof stuff like that right or, or or maybe you know he he was in a struggle no 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 he was in a struggle and then the gun went off <laughs> okay and now he ran out <laughs> you kill him as soon as you see, you catch him you kill him because he's a murderer but you shall have no satisfaction in his death so that's the one that you shouldn't have uh, satisfaction for you know but yeah other things well, I wouldn't hundred percent say satisfaction. Just be, just just know he got what he deserved, okay? So that's it. And then you moving on. Yeah, right. Is how you move on because we have emotions too. Uh, not all man. Every every man has emotions, but not all men are emotional. So, of course, you're gonna be happy to a certain degree, but don't be like. A pleasant feeling that you get when you receive something you wanted or when you have done something you wanted to do you know which is kill that person kill that murderer you know don't don't be satisfied with it it's not you know satisfied here satisfied <coughs> yeah find something with adequate con no 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 please content don't be content with it just just be like okay cool you got what you deserve uh, Lord willing, we're moving on because uh, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it was still your people. And this is talking about from among the Israelites, in, in especially in those days. You know, so yeah. But you need to read the whole chapter for yourself if you have the time. I did a video about it, but yeah. So yeah, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Yeah, prostitute not thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. And to turn her out like this, which is which is happening to their daughters right now, which your curses is coming upon them. So that's all good. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom. <clears throat>